Coming up, we unpack, we build stuff. There oh, is. there it is now. <laughs> and the machine that takes cleaning of parts to a whole new level. Hello and welcome to part three of the workshop build. In this episode, we are not going to be working on cars, but rather installing garage equipment to help us work on the cars. This lot here, this just arrived from California from Benpack and Benpack is kindly supporting the channel and providing some lovely garage equipment. I was waiting on this for months for obvious reasons. It's coming from California and I have some really good news and then some not so good news. The really good news, we have extra goodies, wheel changing machine and wheel balancer. That means I don't have to go to the tire shop anymore to have my wheels scratched. I can do that myself. Brilliant, isn't it? The not so good news, the two post lift, which I need the most to start with the big projects, E31, E39, is not here. It was never shipped and I'm not sure what happened. We're still waiting to hear back from Benpack, but I think they didn't have one in stock. So we'll see what's going to happen if and when I can get one. In the meantime, the four post lift is here and the mid-rise scissor lift. Luke, with two O's, is coming from Netherlands tomorrow. He is the official importer for Benpack for Europe and he's going to help me assemble all of this, which is amazing because I could really use help with this and he knows how everything bolts together. So over the next couple of days, we're going to assemble all of this. I'm going to practice my ballerina skills. So this is Luke from Netherlands. He is the official importer for Benpack for Europe, Quickjack and all other companies. <laughs> yeah. So I'll leave the link in the description to his website. So if you need anything in Europe, you can contact him. But he's going to help me now assemble all of this. So we're starting with the four post? Yes. Yeah, okay. Where do you want to put it? <laughs> Good question. The finish is lovely, I gotta say. <laughs> or yeah. So I was out on a coffee run and Luke pretty much finished everything himself. Now we need to get the ramps in, right? Yep. You wanna lift it? Well, it's not like you need my help. Yep. Whoop. Yeah. Or. Perfect. There it is now. Yeah. Top. So right now we're running the airlines for the locks. You tighten it, we pull it back, I cut it on the other side. This is the normal power outlet, right? Yeah. yeah. Now we're rotting the cables, give it a good, good and tight. It's not first time. Clemens? Pretty much everything is assembled. Hydraulic oil is in, all of the cables and stuff, so we're ready to test. Oh. Oh. Nice. Is that so? You just... Yeah, uh, but you hold it. So you go up, press in, and go out. Time to feast. So now we're gonna put the wheels, and then we can push the lift all the way there until the two post lift comes in. Once that comes in, then this is gonna go over there, and two post over there, and the old one is gonna go out. So 
Yeah, we have a lift off. And this is the beauty of this lift. Now you can just push it. Yeah. Here, you deserve this one. Thanks, man. Cheers. Cheers. Hit it. Beautiful. Then does he have a lock or something yeah, or? Send the lock right now. Huh. Press this one. Oh, nice. Up. And then you lower it. Lower. Awesome. That's it. Beautiful. So the four post is done. Everything hooked up, leveled, working perfect. And now we're moving on to the scissor lift. Destruction. And this is my luxury creeper. Pretty much the same unit as the other one, no? We're kind of similar. Dude, that lamp is the best thing I ever bought. It's 50 euro, 25 for the battery and 25 for the charger, so 100. But it's been in coolant, in oil, I dropped it 15 million times and it just works perfect press the uh and lower it that's going really slow because there's no weight on it yeah this is a really really good lift because it doesn't take much space and the middle is empty so you can even work in the middle of the car yeah, you think the bumper is going to make it How does it look? Fits. Fits? Yeah. That's it. So this is its highest position. And uh, it's pretty nice to work around. To polish the car, remove the tires, brakes, I can sit on the chair. I like it. Very happy with this. I think now we're gonna lower it and drive it onto the four post lift. See how that thing works. How's it looking underneath? Yeah, you're good. Up it goes. more than enough. So now lower it on the locks. People uh, commonly think that's the place to jack it up, but it's aluminum plate, it bends like crazy. You can't lift oh. it there. No, it's, it's only a reinforcement plate. And this is not even its highest position. It can go a lot higher than this. And I can walk around here easily and not hit my head on anything. Use this thing to lift the axle up. Super easy and convenient. Lovely. And now the tire changer and wheel balancer. All right. It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. How are you gonna lift that up? With my arm? No. Yeah, I, I will. No. I will. Try. Okay, f me, dude. You're like a superhuman. Oh, yeah. 
M539 tire shop. Which button is that? That one over there. Oh, I'm such a professional. Like I was born to do this. Yeah, it's going. Easiest buy. So the machine is fully set up, right? Yes. Doesn't need anything else, just need to bolt the lid back. And it works beautifully. It does, I even removed my first Tire. and we're gonna move on to the wheel balancer yeah lift it up no. oh look at that yep okay it's only 15 grams that's good. So 15 grams on the inner side and there's the laser pointing where to put it. How neat. So everything is done. This machine is calibrated and working properly and it's gonna stay here for now which is the garage next to mine until we find a place where to put it. As you can see the operation is done and it has been successful. All thanks to you Luke. Thank you. Thank you so much. There was no way I could have done this without you. It would have taken me weeks. With Luke it was just two days, not even that, day and a half and you've done the bulk of the work, so thank you so much. Everything is working as it should. The mid scissor lift, working beautifully. The four post, as you can see, the tire balancer, the wheel changer, everything is just perfect. So thank you again. I'll include his link in the description. So if you need any kind of equipment for Europe, Netherlands, Germany, wherever we are in Europe, hit him up, he can take care of you. Anyway, that's it for now. The next time you're gonna see Luke is probably, well, if he wants to come again to help him with the two post lift, whenever that comes. Luke just left and I can't thank him enough for his help. It's just awesome having someone who knows how all of this goes together and it was just smooth sailing. So big, big thank you again, Luke. And all of the equipment, everything looks so, so good. I mean, look at the scissor lift, the installation and how it looks, it's so clean and it's gonna be perfect for small jobs. The four post lift is just excellent, top notch quality. It's actually narrower than my old one and it lifts a lot higher than my old one as well. And the trucks are wider. Then you have the axle jack running on air, so it's super easy to use it. And I'm gonna run the airlines as well. It's just, I'm really, really happy with everything. I'm super happy and grateful Thank you to all of you for watching these videos. You made all of this possible. And big thank you to Benpack for sending all of this equipment from California. Everything is awesome and my shop actually looks like a proper workshop now. I'm gonna do some cleaning up because everything is just a mess. I have to organize my tools. This is a big pile over there. I don't know what's coming up next. Hopefully the vapor blasting machine, but for me, it's the Alpina. There's a box behind me. I know, I know. I'm so big you can't even see it. But trust me, it's there. See? Has my name on it. What's in the box? Well, something magnificent. A machine for cleaning parts and making them look a million times better. This just came in from the UK, from Vixen Surface Treatments. And it is a vapor blasting machine. I am beyond excited for this machine. It's just gonna take all of these restorations to a whole new level. We're gonna put the entire Alpina in it. Well, not quite, but most of its parts. James May would have a field day with this. He really should reach out. We only have good stuff to unpack on this channel. Anyway, carry on. Really good packaging, this. And don't worry, the plastic is going to get recycled. We are in Germany, after all. Everything is recyclable. This is Aquablast 1215, and it is a brilliant machine. So this thing needs to go from here to there to the shop. All right, so now I'm gonna put the wheels on this lift and start rolling it that way. That should be enough space on that side to get the machine through. Right after I finish this, I'm gonna do the electricity because I'm tired of jumping cables and stuff. This is just... What was that? 
I'm gonna go see if my neighbor with the forklift is free and maybe he can help get this in. My incredibly nice neighbor is coming to help us. Okay, it's being transferred. Thank you so much. The machine is gonna sit here, at least for now. I think it's a nice place. The lift is gonna be transferred back here. There's plenty of space to open it, put parts in. I mean, it's just massive inside. Look at that. I can't even reach all the way to there. Small hiccup though. I didn't ask what kind of power this machine uses. Electricity and naturally it uses 400 volts, as you can see here. And I don't have 400 volts in this garage, only 220. So my landlord has 400 volts in that one over there, the place next to it. So I'm gonna have to run wiring from there, through there, there, and then down. So Mark from Vixen is obviously here. He just flew in from uh, Newcastle. Yeah. And uh, he's gonna do a little show and tell of the machine, tell us how it's built, what it does, how to use it as well, because I don't know anything. And uh, I did hook up the electricity, as you can see, there's light. The compressor, I am gonna have to get a bigger one because the one that I have right now, it's far too small. And uh, yeah, but hopefully we'll be able to blast a little bit and just show you what this machine can actually do, which is going to be awesome. So now we're gonna fill it up with water and yeah, go for it. All right. So we need around seven liters, which is right about there. And then we're gonna add the media, which is this here, glass bead, and then the filter system is on the back and stuff, but Mark is gonna explain all of that far better than I can. But yeah, the thing is huge. You can put a whole engine in it. And look at this, I love this. Aqua Blast with lights, it looks really cool. Small details, but really cool. Filled up with water, and now I guess you can explain me what this thing here is. So this um, setup, this box at the back of the machine is part of our closed loop system basically recycling the water, which means you don't have to have the machine connected to yeah, drainage. Yeah, that's water awesome, supply. yeah. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. So we're gonna fill this system up too. So oh, okay. All of the dirt and rubbish and, and stuff that you blasted off your parts is gonna come out of the valve here. Go onto the grid here with filter paper, and then it comes into this weir system here. Mm -hmm. So all of the various pieces of dirt will settle out in these sedimentation boxes. Mm -hmm. The water will then continue round into the 150 micron filter that you can see over there yep. and then back into the machine through the rinse hose and the windscreen uh, washing system. Mm -hmm. So fully closed loop and, and flexible. It's brilliant because I don't have like a drain or anything in the shop so it's a perfect perfect yeah, setup indeed. here. And, and that's, that's the main advantage of it for definite. Yeah. So let's get this filled up as well then. That's sweet. I believe this is full now. So in with the blasting stuff. One bag in and half of that. So before we get to blasting, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about the machine, how it's made, because it's handmade, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, the, mach the machine's made in the, in the factory in the northeast of England there um, by the guys who basically cut out the metal. Um, stainless steel, nice and robust. Yeah. Powder coated as well, so it's nice and durable. Yeah. As you can see, the inside's rubber lined as well, which gives it some excellent durability. Bit Absolutely. of soundproofing too. Yeah. yeah, the guys are a really good craftsman. You say they shirt them everything themselves. Beautiful, yeah. Um, and then everything gets um, fitted together. As you can see inside, you've got the blast gun, the, the hose for rinsing, you've got an air blow off gun, the lovely light box on the yeah. front there. So, and yeah, the light as well. A, a beautiful piece of kit. Yeah, it's absolutely. Last a long time. Oh, yeah, this is a lifetime machine for sure. Yeah. And before it goes out, everything is tested and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. this one took around three months to get built. So. Now you can understand why it takes so long because it's not automated, it's actual human doing the work, which is awesome. So I love it. Man, I'm so pumped now. This is crazy. Can't believe I have an aqua blasting machine. So this is a water pump from Project Marbay, the E30. It is 31 year old part. It looks pretty nasty. So we're gonna put it in the machine and see what the result is. And this should look brand spanking new once we're done with it. Indeed. Okay. Awesome. Give it a go. Put that there. Make sure the door is shut. So this is my first time using the aqua blasting machine. And let's see how easy it is to use it. So we're gonna use the holder with the gun here. And then get the gloves going. And just press the throttle. 
And that's how it works. Look at that. So we're slowly blasting and you can see how brand new it looks over there. And for example here, this is the part that I blasted and this is untouched. So the difference is just massive. And you also have to keep in mind that my compressor is really pathetic. It's way too weak for this machine. So I have to do this slowly in order to get it to actually clean. But just look at that, amazing. So this here is a rinse gun, just straight water to just rinse the machine and rinse the parts that we just blasted and stuff. And it's also quite satisfying process because you can actually see the media coming off the wall and going back into the hopper. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I'm absolutely loving this. It's so, so relaxing just cleaning the thing, but <laughs> the compressor is still messing around with us. But just look at that. I mean, just unbelievable. It looks brand new, better than brand new actually. Well, now I'm an expert. So the next step <laughs> is to Rinse it out, just with water. And the final step, just blow it out. So here you can see the paper filter doing its job. You can see this red stuff here. That's actually the gasket that was on the pump and it's filtering all of that stuff out. You can see also the dirt, the really black stuff, which is brilliant. So now I just rip this paper apart, throw it away and roll a new one. Super, super impressed with this, and it's gonna be an invaluable tool for the restorations. So now we're gonna blast the valley pan from Project Chicago, the Alpina B7. It looks utterly disgusting, and I wanna see this cleaned up as well. So we're blasting the Alpina valley pan, and as you can see, there's a wiper here, because obviously when you're blasting, the water is splashing everywhere, and the water from the closed loop system is coming through this connection here onto the windshield and cleaning it. I can also do it by hand. So I just want to show something real quickly. Normally when you clean parts like this, they have like million nooks and crannies. And if you want to clean this here, it is incredibly difficult to do it by hand or whatever else brush. But with this machine, you just point it there and it's a matter of seconds and it's clean. You know, you can compare it to here where it's not clean. So I'm absolutely loving this. It saves so much time to clean parts like this. I think I've said it already a few million times, but the part looks better than brand new. And in the past, this was my method for cleaning these parts, steel brush, screwdriver and just go around and poke it and it takes freaking forever and you still can't clean it properly. And with this machine, all of these small nooks and crannies, edges that you normally can't even see, they're perfectly clean. So I'm loving this and the finish, oh, I wish you can touch this. It's beautiful. It's nice and smooth, beautiful. Can you believe this guy is lost for words? I can't, it's quite funny. For the yeah, first time I just, this weekend, he doesn't know what to say. I'm pretty <laughs> speechless right now. Cause I mean, look at this part, it's, it's amazing and the fact that you don't need to paint it or do anything after you can just put it back on the car it's a huge plus plus. and i just want to give a big thank you to you mark for coming out for helping me out with the machine explaining and showing me how everything works and a huge thanks to vixen as well for entrusting me with such a professional high-end machine because this no is just, just make sure you amazing do all cars up and get the results the oh machine, yeah uh, yeah every single <laughs> metal part that comes off the projects it's gonna end up in here and get the treatment it's just, just imagine brake calipers. In the past on the project Karlsruhe, it took me two days to do it. And now, a few minutes and it'll be done. So it's, it's gonna save time and it's gonna make restorations look a lot better, a lot awesome. better. Thanks, Mark. Seeing the results, no problem. Thanks again. Look after yourself. And yeah, uh, definitely. 
Till next time. Till next time, indeed. I'm gonna treat you right. I love this machine. It's my new favorite tool. Mark just left, and with that, we're gonna end this episode of the workshop build. I just wanna give a huge thank you to Ben Pack again for sending me all of this equipment. Everything is awesome. Big thank you to Luke for coming down and helping me install all of this. That was just a huge help. And a big thank you to Vixen Surface Treatments for giving me this glorious machine. That's something that we're going to put to use a lot. When it comes to the workshop, next step I need to do is electricity. Nothing too complicated, but I'm gonna do it off camera just to speed things up. I need to connect all of the lights, bring them back to the fuse panel. Same with the electricity for the table. And then I also need to bring three-phase electricity from the first building all the way here for this machine and for the compressor that I just bought, the big one. But other than that, that's more or less it. Few of you told me that I should do something with the floor, like epoxy, and I totally agree. If this garage was mine, I would do epoxy floor in a heartbeat but it's not mine and I pay rent and to do epoxy, it's quite expensive and everything we need to come out. So that's just a lot of money and time that I'm not ready to invest right now. That being said, I'm gonna look into getting those PVC tiles and stuff that you can put on top of the concrete. That's like hard stuff. And I think that's gonna look nice and I can do it at least in this corner of the shop and just make it look nicer and easy to clean up. And it's gonna look better on the video because this floor, it's, it's a bit, it's not looking good. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. You're the ones that made all of this possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Have a happy new year and I'll see you very soon.